Hello everyone, how are you? I hope you're doing well. I am Tiara Sade. come on in. I have a message for the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine. Twin flame, soulmate, divine counterpart, divine partner, whatever you want to call it, I have a message for you. So tap in, okay? Um, so let's start with the Divine Feminine. And I do want to be clear that this is um, talking about energy and not necessarily gender. So keep that in mind. Um, so the Divine Feminine is walking into high priestess mode, right? Um, you could already be operating in this um, state of elevated consciousness, of sacred energy, of um, tapping more into your spiritual gifts and the things that you are wanting to manifest. You could absolutely have already been on that journey. And for many of you, there's like a, I heard depth, there's a deepening of your call that's taking place right now. Many of you are literally on the precipice of something really major as far as um, your spiritual growth, uh, your opportunities, your up leveling, your expansion. Okay, so that's coming up. So the divine feminine energy is focused on that or it's advised for you to focus on that at this time. Now is not the time, according to, you know, the divine and the guides in them. Now is not the time to be focused on the masculine energy and what they are and what they're not doing. You know, if this is another person, for many of you, this is divine feminine and divine masculine energies within yourself that are, that's being um, reconciled and healed. But um, the divine feminine, you're, you're not interested in heartbreak and mind games and superficiality and lying mask wearing you're not interested in that at all i'm getting that some of you may have already done that in your past you may have already been engaged in that activity or you've already dealt with that activity and now it's the divine call to step out of that right step out of that dark place step into the spotlight and reign right Right now is the time to reign, Divine Feminine. Rule in your purpose. Rule in your household, in your career. And that's not to be arrogant or cocky or try to knock anybody off of their throne. It's just really embody all that you are at this time, okay? And for the Divine Masculine, I feel like that energy is looking at the feminine energy like, what are you? <laughs> I don't really know what you are, but I'm intrigued and scared at the same time. So the divine masculine energy, um, understands the mistakes that they've made. They get it. They've been very, you know, egotistical. They've been money hungry. Um, some of them, could be dealing with like sex addictions and sort of addictions that are coming up on the masculine's energy right now. And I feel like they're hoping and wishing that the feminine would be okay with where they are right now. And not so much be okay as in accept where I'm at. No, they, they want the divine feminine to engage with them while they're still engaged in devilish energy or low vibrational energy or while they're de still dealing with people that they're, they have been needing to cut out of their life for a long time or um, the energy that they have been needing to cut out for a long time. So even if they met new people, it's like there's, those people are still embodying the same energy as the people from their past. So there's there's not a separation. The, the divine masculine is desiring a new beginning. They want to start over. They want to move forward. They want to be more than who they are right now. But they're deciding to be complacent in many different ways because, you know, the old way always worked. Like the old mind games always worked. 
everybody loves this mask. What do you mean, divine feminine? Now there's a problem with this mask, right? And if you are a woman embodying the divine feminine energy, this masculine is like, well, everybody else likes this, right? Everybody else likes when I behave this way and I, I act arrogant and I, I'm, you know, I'm underhanded or I'm petty. Everybody else likes this, but they're looking at this divine feminine who is rising to the call of the high priestess and answering the divine's order, right? On their life, they're looking at her like, okay, so... I need you to just get off the throne for a minute and fucks with a real nigga. Like, there's some energy there. I need you to just dim your light just a bit. You know, take a ride on the wild side. High priestess, divine feminine energy. Like, why you gotta be so godly right now, right? I, I promise if you could just get with me, it'll be in your best interest. My sex game is great. So you really have like the divine masculine energy kind of wanting to seduce the divine feminine to go with the status quo and go with materialism and money and um, the lower vibrational aspects of life instead of answering the divine call. So that's what's coming in, y'all. Um, I feel like the divine masculine energy may have or may be in this moment missing out on their goddess, their empress, um, their divine partner, their twin flame, because they're, they have made the decision to stay in devilish ways and devilish energy. And the divine feminine is not at all there and will not reign there. She's not there. The divine feminine energy, ooh, I just got chills, on the planet right now is fully committed to the call on their lives. They're not willing to step down. And for the divine masculine, hearing that is like, what do you mean you stepping down? For, for this energy, for the divine feminine, it would be a step down and a step back to engage in that type of energy. So um, there needs to be the understanding of that, okay? Another message for the divine feminine is to understand that just because you may have had heartbreak, just because you may have been cheated on or lied to does not mean that you're not deserving of something that's really high vibrational and divinely guided, okay? It also does not mean that um, you're needing to stay in a situation that does not feel good to you, soul-wise, heart-wise, emotion-wise, just because somebody is your twin flame or soulmate, that's not it that's not at all the journey okay the journey is individual soul expansion and elevation so i feel like the divine feminine is really um reminding herself about that and also seeing how she can take the steps to truly embody that energy also you know not um not pushing away and shunning love is what i just heard making sure you're not pushing it away um and also i heard like angry making sure oh, i just had this conversation with a sis the other day not this particular part though i don't think but making sure you're not really like angry at the masculine um or angry at your twin remove those types of things remove shame anger blame all of that stuff and understand that this is the journey, that this is a part of the work, that this is a part of the path. We agreed to this, right? I had a dream that she was going to cheat on me. I, I know. I just had a, I had a goal with the path because it was for my soul expansion. So that's a very specific message for somebody. That's a very, 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 very specific message. <laughs> um, let's pull some oracle cards really quick. Show me the divine feminine right now, please. This is a lot for the Divine Feminine. There's so many. Okay, let's just, let's read them all. Let's go through them all. Self-pleasure, Divine Feminine. The Divine Feminine energy is, um, for many of you, it's rewiring, I just got, rewiring how you viewed sex and pleasure, intimacy, 
sensuality and sexuality. The divine feminine is dealing with that as well. And remember, I was talking about somebody who may have been cheated on and lied to in the past. Um, I feel like you had to reconcile what you were feeling and what happened to you and all of that stuff. You had to really get clear on that within your partnership or within your, your past. Um, for others of you, self-pleasure is the way to go, right? Because I literally am CEO and founder of The Pussy Portal. I wrote the book on it, right? The Pussy Portal Healing with Pleasure. So this is literally a part of someone's sacred spiritual practice, divine feminine, okay? And we, I, I go into it in the Pussy Portal program. We go deep into sensuality and spirituality and, and self pleasure no toys no nothing just you and the most high god okay so that's coming up for the divine feminine also for the divine feminine powerful psychic powerful psychic that's another thing that the divine masculine is kind of like well you know I, that shit's kind of sexy but it's scary too okay and i don't really know what you're talking about and it just was 11 minutes and 11 seconds i don't really know what you're talking about for real and I'm not really on that. Like, I'm on this 3D shit. We need to make money. We need to pay bills. We need to get this done. Um, I want new clothes. I want a new car. But the divine feminine energy is a powerful psychic. Remember, she's a high priestess. She was born for this. And the divine masculine is needing to understand that and deal with that within his own being or her own being, whatever the, the divine masculine is. Divine feminine side is still is saying, I'm playing mind games, which means, you know, like I was just saying, <laughs> wow, this message is hitting. You see what I'm saying? You see how I channel the shit and then the cards laid out exactly how I just said it. The divine feminine is tired of those mind games. She's over it. And also, like I said, she's a powerful psychic. She saw you coming before you even made the decision to show up in her life. You understand me? So the divine feminine is trying to tell this masculine energy, don't play games with me, baby. If you play me, you play yourself. You playing mind games on me, but you really played mind games on yourself. So that's what, that's what I was saying. The divine masculine wants to start over. They didn't realize, they thought the divine feminine was just everyone else and they could just do, you know, the same behaviors as before. And it's like, ah, 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 that's not the magic password. Dream warrior. The divine feminine travels the astral realms. She fights battles. She rescues the children of the most high. She, she talks to the divine, the ascended masters, the galactic, you know, team. She's not anybody to play with. And also she's sending messages to the masculine in the dream world. You deserve the very best divine feminine. And there's this, um, this call to understand that, but also there's a need for the divine feminine to make a decision. I feel like somebody needs to make a decision or you already did to choose yourself now. Choose yourself first. And by choosing yourself first, you're actually choosing the most high, the goddess first. And it's all tied in. Divine feminine, you're not from here. The divine feminine wants the masculine to know, like, I'm not even from here, bro. Like, watch how you talk to me. Watch how you play with me. See? Watch how you talk to me. Watch how you play with me. I see what's going on. In your life. So this is a divine feminine that sees how lower vi oh my gosh, this message is hitting. How lower vibrations, entities, beings, per uh, people, places, and things, exes, lovers, friendships have dumbed them down. I just heard. Wow. So there's a divine feminine that sees how the masculine's attachments to superficial things is actually pulling in demons remember i said devilish behavior before y'all i can't make this stuff up needy and codependent divine feminine you may be needy and codependent or you're pulling out of that energy at this time i feel like for many of you you were needy and codependent which is why you were even aligned with this type of energy 
Um, I feel like for many of you, you were needing to learn neediness and codependency from each other. You were needing to like um, see yourself through the relationship or through the connection with the masculine energy, okay? Then we have corrupt organizations. See, this is what I was saying before on um, how the divine feminine is here for something else. She's following a divine call. It's not like she can't, that's, that's why, she can't go back to the lower level behavior like the masculine because she's literally... It's corrupting her journey in her path. So Divine Feminine, if you're still dealing with a masculine energy um, or a situation that is um, not aligned with you, it's, it's going to end up corrupting you and your purpose here. It's going to end up causing you unnecessary um, situations, right? Unnecessary conversations when really the Divine is saying, look, cut this out of your life. Cut it out of your life. You're here for something else. You deserve the very best, right? That's here. You deserve the very best. And we want you to go towards that, okay? Let's see what the masculine is saying. This message is good, all right? <laughs> Subscribe, hit thumbs up, send a donation to my cash app, Venmo, or PayPal. It is all linked in the description box, as well as book a session with me, okay? And mind you, when you book a session with me, I'm going to give you tools to move forward on your journey. We're not here to gossip and kiki, honey. No, I'm here to align you on your purpose. Okay, I just want to make sure I say that. So let's see what the masculine is saying. What does the masculine want to say? I'm actually excited for this. <laughs> mm. Ooh, see how nothing's coming out? So the masculine is not talking to you right now. Or they're not saying how they really feel, Divine Feminine, because wow, look, we just got, like, okay, we just literally got one Oracle card when the Divine Feminine had like seven. All right, here we go. Wow, that's a lot. That's a lot. Let's just look at the bottom of the deck. We have Private Investigation or Investigator. So this is a Divine Masculine who's really trying to figure you out, Divine Feminine. They don't know what it is about you or they don't know how you do what you do they don't understand your connection with the divine they just don't get it and for some of them they could be a low-key jealous that's what i just got some of them could be low-key jealous because they don't have that same um connection that you have and they're, they feel some type of way about that for, for many of them. But they are investigating you. They are watching you. They watch you very closely, okay? Talking to the dead. So see, you had demonic possession and then you had um, powerful psychic for the divine feminine. So this is the divine masculine side. So they, they're not really on all that hocus pocus shit that you're on, divine feminine. And that's okay. They're really not meant to. They're really not meant to in this moment to be on what you're on right but this is also a divine masculine that is denying their own gift Ooh. we shouldn't have to go there somebody's like why you gotta take it there like what's up but yeah some this is a masculine that's denying their own gift so remember when dream warrior came out for the divine feminine this masculine is also a dream warrior they travel the astral realms. They've shown up in dreams with you. You've dreamed of them. They've dreamed of you. For some of them, they could have dreamed of marrying you one day or really being with you or having children with you or getting a home with you. Um, so they're gifted as well. They could absolutely be a, a high priest. Yeah, especially if this is a twin flame journey. Yeah. If your divine partner is a high priestess or a high priest, you very well could be one as well. You are twins. You're mirroring each other. It's just one of you is actually operating in the fullness of their divinity and one is not. So we have blocked and denied. You could have blocked and denied the masculine energy, whether that's emotionally, whether that's on the phone, social media. Um, some of you, you, you blocked intimacy. You blocked intimacy with this person. You said, no, I am not having sex with you or no, I am no longer having sex with you until you 
um, raise in consciousness until you cut out the past, all right? And until you do that, there ain't nothing popping off, bucko, okay? So we have, I com I compete with you, but you don't even notice because you're so arrogant. <laughs> I forgot I made this card. That's hilarious. So that's what I was saying before on how the divine masculine may be a bit jealous of you, divine feminine, because you don't have the, um, they don't, they feel that. They feel like they don't have the connection that you have with the divine. They feel like um, you're more advanced or you're actually out of their league. And for some of them, that's not true. And for others of them, it is. Just because they haven't decided to separate from the past and the lower vibrations. Integrity. Divine masculine, you're needing to have integrity moving forward. You're needing to take ownership and responsibility for your own behavior, for your own actions. The divine masculine needs to stop playing victim, right? Stop blaming the divine feminine because I just heard for some of you divine masculine, you feel like you're so infatuated, I just heard, with the divine feminine or you're with them in general because of spell work that they could have placed on you because of um, magic and stuff. But I'm getting like the divine feminine doesn't do that. Maybe she did it when she was 16, but a real divine feminine energy does not use magic and spell work and all of that dumb, dumb shit. She's not on that, she's elevated. You mean a toxic female could have and is for some of you divine masculine using spell work on you to keep you away from your divine partner. Yeah, that could absolutely be going on, right? Because the divine feminine, um, you know, the masculine feels like, well, she's a powerful psychic. She's an oracle or he's an oracle, right? If you're uh, a man embodying divine feminine energy, um, you know, they're an oracle. They're a priestess, a priest. So, you know, that's why I'm in love or that's why this is going on. Um, for some of you, like I said, you're needing to take responsibility for how you've shown up. Stop blaming others for your behavior. And when things, like you have a plot, you have a plan, you plotting on how to scheme and get over, and then when it doesn't work, you cry about it, and you complain, and you want everybody to know how somebody did you wrong. Nah, it was you. And the divine feminine sees that, and she's not with it. We have rape or molestation. There's a divine masculine energy that has experienced that. I'm getting in childhood. And that is why they don't trust people or that is why they can't, um, they feel like they can't get close to people or get close to the divine feminine. For some of you, the, the divine masculine is like, I understand what happened to you and I don't know how to comfort you, but I love you. Or I've been through this situation in my life and I don't really know how to connect with you intimately or emotionally, or I'm so in love with you, I'm scared of getting hurt and you're gonna ab abandon me like everybody else is what I just heard. So there's, um, there's a divine masculine who's kind of, they're in love. They, they love you, they desire you. They're just finding it hard to, um, wow, both of these, both sides are turned over. Look, ooh. See, somebody doesn't want to tell you how they feel about you. Somebody doesn't want to say, I love you. Or they say it in a way that's really kind of like, for some, not even actions. Their actions don't even show how they feel. They're really, they're really tight-lipped. Like I, like I was getting for the Divine Feminine, or um, no, the Divine Masculine, you could have blocked them. You could have blocked them. And with the rape and molestation, they feel gypped out. They feel like um, you were taken from them. All right? That's deep. That's really deep, okay? Send the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine love. Grandfather. All right? The Divine Masculine grandfather came out for you. I feel like you're needing to connect with that energy um, or just the uh, your bloodline. 
So that's another thing with the masculine energy. The masculine energy is needing to immerse themselves in their spirituality. It's literally going to save them. And I feel like that's what you were to them, Divine Feminine. You were the gift to them. You were the blessing to them. So make sure you watch the video that I literally just did, a uh, Prophetic Word, because I said that to somebody and I feel like these messages could be um, relatable. Trustworthy and honorable. The Divine Masculine wants to be trustworthy and honorable moving forward Th this i'm tapping into a divine masculine energy who does want to change like i was saying in the beginning of the message they do want to change they do want to be trustworthy and honorable but they've had so many people break their trust from childhood right so it's something that they're trying to overcome but i also feel divine masculine you could be hiding from your shadow self you could be hiding from and not um engaging in inner child um healing okay so that that's what's coming in commitment or marriage somebody wants to marry you or somebody is married to you not your friend divine masculine like i was saying in the beginning you have people in your life who are not your friend you also have somebody in your life who wants a commitment or marriage from you they want to be in relationship with you you're not having it because they're not the divine feminine and you know that you feel that i feel like you engage with this energy for sex or for like things right like i was saying in the beginning of the message for money for clothes for clout you're engaging with somebody for those reasons but i feel like it backfired and um you're realizing who is who the divine masculine is realizing who is who in their life i am healed there's some masculines out there who are healed who have um, taken care of their inner world, who have made peace with um, their divine counterpart or made peace within themselves, right? Because this could be the divine feminine and the divine masculine within you. So, um, oh my gosh, I cannot make it up. Look, inner child. This is still on the Divine Masculine side. It looks like the Divine Masculine has way more Oracle cards than the Divine Feminine. And I feel like that's really telling. This is a Masculine who really wants to elevate, but is kind of scared and kind of freaked out by that. There's a Masculine energy that is afraid of being the High Priest or being the Healer or being the Shaman that they're actually called to be. They're meant to be this. Ugh, I just felt that in my gut. They're meant to be the ascended master. Watch my New Year's Eve videos and those videos, y'all, okay? This is somebody who is meant to be an ascended master, but they're needing to heal, and they're, they're afraid of embodying such a being. Sex addiction, y'all. What did I say? Yes, yes, yes. Somebody is addicted to sex. Look at this, look. Dusty soul energy. Dirty soul energy. Dusty soul energy. This is somebody who engages in lower vibrational activities because they are not wanting to elevate consciously. They're choosing the lower level path. Remember what I was saying? They met the divine feminine and was like, oh, you're not like everybody else. And then realized that a little too late though. Okay? So... Welcome to your brand new beginning. Divine Masculine wants this new beginning. Remember I said that they want to start over with this Divine Feminine. They want to present this Divine Feminine with um, things that they know she deserves or they deserve, right? You deserve the very best. I feel like that's what the Masculine is saying to this energy, to, to the Feminine. You deserve the very best. I want to present you with the very best. But I'm not really ready to give you the very best right now. Money is tight. It's hard for me to find good work. or, um, But the masculine is not seeing that they're not... Oh, I keep getting that. They're not following the divine call on their life. And that's why they're not making the money that they want. And that's also why they don't have the high priestess. Because they haven't answered the call. The phone keep ringing and they're like ignoring it, ignoring it. They're having sex with people who are just 
dusty soul energy could never compare to the divine feminine. This masculine is not elevating to that. <laughs> Look at this car. <laughs> Trap niggas. <laughs> I'm so funny. Oh my gosh. Trap niggas. They want to stay in the old way. All right. And everybody like a spiritual gangster now. Give me a spiritual thug now. He meditate and bust guns. Look. We could go to the range, baby. What, what you want, okay? That's all right. But for others of them, it's like they're not letting go of that, like, ideology. They're not letting go of the past ways. They may have healed in many different ways, right? Because we had the I am healed card. They may have healed in many different ways, but they haven't fully let go of the old energy, all right? <laughs> Cleanse your home and body. Divine masculine is needing to do that. And it's more than lighting incense. It's literally scrubbing your home down, bringing in the angels, praying in your home, meditating in your home, doing spiritual baths in your home. That's all tied into cleansing your home, calling in your ancestors. We did get grandfather. Now, either the grandfather is a creep or he's um, one of your beloved ancestors of the highest light who is here to guide you. Okay. And others of you, you know, that sex addiction and dealing with people who really not your friends, you, you may need to detox your body for real, for real, okay? And get healed. I'm spying on you. Remember I said that before in the beginning? See, like these oracle cards literally confirm everything I just said. The divine masculine is spying on this divine feminine watches her because and it's not really okay for some it could be in an obsession it could be it could be but for others it's not really an obsession it's just you are different they haven't met anybody like you you're really attractive too for some of you but it's more than physicality it's your aura it's just everything this person is just like whoa like what are you divine feminine like i don't even know what you are like it scares me but it intrigues me and it turns me on and i have self-pleasure to you to your pictures your pictures are in my phone divine feminine okay don't get it fucked up you fine now but you scare me okay because you're asking me in not so many words but you're asking me to elevate consciously and i'm just not ready to do that so this person is spying on you return of the gods divine masculine you're a walking, talking God. You are here. Okay? And remember, on the divine feminine side, it was not from here. And on the masculine side, it's return of the gods. So look, neither one of y'all from here. Okay? <laughs> That's why you match. That's why you're meant to be. Neither one of y'all are from here. But the masculine, you're needing to step into your elevation. It's time. Now... It's time. Many of y'all not getting no second chances. You need to elevate right now. For many of the masculine energy I just heard, it's life or death. It's life or death. Because you engaging in past behaviors is, is going to um, lower your vibration so much that you, you, you won't be able to ascend. And remember we saw demonic possession. Okay rise elevate masculine elevate my love trust your intuition this is a masculine that know who is who and what is what and you're playing you don't want to say what you need to say look at this next cards okay you're not wanting to say what you're needing to say you know that you need to cut out certain energies and behaviors and you just keep going back you keep going back you keep going back you feel like you're meant for more People have been in your life, probably the divine feminine, has been in your life telling you that you're meant for more, that you're actually wise, that you're actually intelligent, you're spiritual, you're a healer, you're a natural born shaman, this is what you're supposed to do. <laughs> you're a returning god, you're literally an ascended master. Cut it out, right? Trust your intuition, okay? That's for some, and for others of you, like I was saying, this this is a masculine who absolutely knows that you're their twin flame. That you're their divine counterpart, that they, they know that you're the real deal, right? Because I feel like other people in their lives, they may have been faking it, or even this divine masculine, you may have been faking who you are and hiding, wearing so many fucking masks. 
The divine feminine sees you fully. And you see the divine feminine fully. You know who they are to you. And it's like you're not honoring that intuition. You're not wanting to do it. So for some, like I said, you, you forfeit the high priestess. You forfeit the divine feminine. Okay. Master numbers. 11, 22, 33. Divine masculine, you could be a mas uh, master number life path or you're dealing with somebody who's a master number life path. It's a very, very, very powerful path, okay? Um, and again, return of the gods and all of this stuff, trustworthy and honorable integrity. This is a masculine energy who's literally meant to be a high priest, a healer, a shaman with his divine counterpart though not separately anymore but together okay peace love and happiness oh such a good card to wrap this up with peace love and happiness that's all the masculine wants the masculine energy wants peace they want to be in love with somebody who's in love with them and they just want to be happy they also want to give the feminine happiness and joy um there is a masculine who's not sure how to do that Okay. Or they feel like they've already lost you, Divine Feminine. There's something like that. But I feel like the Divine Feminine kind of sees all of this, no, and though. And she knows this. And she's not judging the masculine. She's not blaming. She's not hating or disrespecting. She's just aware. And for a lot of the masculines, that awareness is like annoying as fuck. Like, first off, I don't want you to read me. I don't want you to see me. No, I'm not ready to be seen. I, I want to, there's also a masculine who wants to elevate in a certain way before they present themselves to you. And for some, the divine is saying, eh, well, nope, <laughs> that's not gonna work. She's gonna see you regardless. That's who she is. She's literally my right hand. She sits on the throne with me. Like, you can't hide from her just like you can't hide from me. The masculine is needing to understand that and finally decide, you know what? All right, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop fronting. I'm going to stop lying. I'm going to stop hiding from my spiritual gift. I'm going to stop hiding from my ancestors and my spirit guides who be talking my ear off because they do. This is a masculine energy who's naturally gifted. They probably don't know it. They don't acknowledge it. For some of them, they use their spiritual gifts for sneaky shit. And that's another thing that the Divine Feminine is like, uh-uh, we're not doing this. We're not doing this. I'm, I'm answering the call over my life. I'm answering the call over my life. I'm stepping into my abundance. I'm stepping into my prosperity. I'm being exactly who I am meant to be in this life. All right? So... The advice coming in right now is that there needs to be reconciliation for some, right? Within self, though, first, and then between the other person, if this is a like a person, right? Um, and for some, that type of reconciliation isn't possible through conversation. So there needs to just be that within self and within spiritual practice and within path and seeing what happens with the divine what the divine says or where the divine is guiding you and for both of you don't wait like i always say this don't wait you're not in a marriage you're not in a commitment or anything don't wait for anybody to heal and do what they gotta do like no for many of you in order for this other person to heal there needs to be a separation they need to see that okay they're not dealing with this at all. And I really want to deal with them. What do I got to do? Like, I don't get it. And in that whole thought process, they're able to elevate spiritually. They're able to move forward on their own individual path. And that is the point of the Twin Flame journey. Okay, people? Yes. This was a good message. <laughs> Woo! This was amazing. Okay? So make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like. If you really fucked with the message, send a donation and book a session. All of that is in the description box. Okay? I love y'all. I hope everything works out for you on your path. Okay? I hope you claim everything that is promised to you. All right? Have a good night. Peace and love.